Okay, everybody, I want to introduce you to my little project here. Uh, what I did basically was I bought an electric quad off of Craigslist in Phoenix for 30 bucks. And I butchered the quad fenders, gas tank, or the simulated one at least, and all the stuff that made it a quad, handlebars and everything off. Except for this part, I went ahead and cut this and left the original steering, um, as you can see. And uh, I went ahead and left the original, I think this is an MY16, maybe an MY20, anybody's welcome to comment if you know. It's got a 36 volt. Uh, it said 800 watts on it, and I actually believe it. And it's got a, a really solid planetary gear reduction with um, some heavy duty gears. It's also got the original disc brake, which I'm not using anymore. And I don't need to use that with this right here. And I kind of got it taped over. I don't know if you can see that very well. That is a Siren 50. It's a single brushed motor controller that interfaces with the PWM signal, which is the standard communication on most radio controlled stuff, I believe. And uh, I got it at 24 volts right now. I'm running on two scooter batteries out of a, let's see, what do we get? I believe it's a Razor Metro that I got from a, a nice guy down in Arlington, Texas. Um, was returned from somebody. Got it used pretty cheap, but I'm just using the batteries basically right now. But anyway, this little thing <laughs> surprises the heck out of me. Now, as you all know that are looking at this, there are several different ways to control the steering. Um, I chose to pony up a couple bucks, and I got the Servo City. Uh, it's a 12 volt, six inches of travel linear servo. Some of them are actuators, but the ones that have feedback, they told me at Servo City that's actually considered a servo. There's a little box that goes with it, hooks to 12 volts. That's what that battery is for. Also goes over here to the Fly Sky RC receiver. One channel is going to the, the uh, Siren 50, and the other one is going of course to this magic little box here it does kind of have a little bit of suspension not much don't need it but the whole purpose for this build um, was basically to build a beach cart because I don't want to tote all the crap to the, to the shore I guess I'm lazy forgive me for being lazy um, but anyway plus it's kind of cool I got some other plans for accessories for when we're at the beach also. Um, I have a small bullet style blender that's gonna actually work off the tailgate of the body that we're gonna put on here. It's gonna work with a uh, 750 watt power inverter. I'm gonna, I have a couple more other small rechargeable 12 amp hour 12 volt batteries that'll run it. Of course, you're not going to be mixing all day. You just got to buzz a couple drinks up. I've already done some tests with it with uh, a 12 amp hour 12 volt small battery like this one here. Similar. It's out of a Kid Tracks toy. And it runs that little blender like a charm. And then I plugged it into a 1800 watt inverter and there was no difference in rpms or anything so it'll work to buzz a couple little drinks up on the pier or on the shore and uh i just want to say too man this little thing surprised the daylights out of me um i had some help from one of the gentlemen one of the owners of dimension engineering in akron ohio those guys are great they build all kinds of their own uh controllers and stuff like that they also got some robots that they play with and uh, John over there was freaking great I got there after hours and I happened to be there in my truck and he asked if I had it with me and I said sure we 
brought it out and he dialed all this steering in for me. Put the mounts on. And uh, we're using this fly sky. This thing's a heck of a deal. I'm trying to think what uh, what model it says. It's a F. Let me get that back in the light for you. FS GT3 B like boy. This thing was 39 bucks, if you can believe it. It's got uh, illuminated readout. You can adjust all your trims and all your settings. It's the best 30 bucks I've ever seen for a remote control. It's three channel and uh came with a four channel receiver this little thing bruised so i just wanted to show you guys real quick here Let's see if i can zoom in a little bit on some of the the tie rods and that and this this thing works like a charm flawless i know a lot of people are into power wheels i thought about doing this with the power wheels and I stumbled upon this quad for 30 bucks. I mean, you can't even buy the chain and sprockets for 30 bucks. Let alone the tires. It's got good tread. And that motor is the beef. Now, the motor's rated at 36 volts, 800 watts. The robot controller, the Siren 50, is a 24 volt setup runs perfect on 24 volts it's not dangerously fast and most importantly this thing is so precision controlled watch this this is crazy look I mean this thing can creep and crawl watch even even slower or This little thing, I'm telling you, it's a blast. And it steers precision too, I mean, see that? This is truly the best remote control car I have seen. Now, of course it's in the testing phase, that's why I got this stuff just changed on here. It's kind of silly, but I had some time. I'm actually in Racine, Wisconsin today, truck driver, and uh, I got to take this thing out and goof around with it a little bit. But I mean, it will just absolutely crawl. The whole thing is in the controller. I mean, this little gem, this little thing is absolutely badass. I mean, that's all there is to it. That's weird on the screen, the LED flashes on the camera. But on the device, it's actually solid. Hmm. Kind of weird. There's my little receiver down here. We're going to do a little off-road test. Give me one second here. Make sure I don't have nothing to get hurt. Put this little, this little receiver back over here. With the antenna. Alright, get into there. little antenna and I'll tell you man if I do got a few bucks in it like I said the quad was 30 bucks off a of crap list found it in Phoenix the guy had it for I'm just gonna guess it's probably 10 years old maybe um, still has a little mini disc brake I may actually hook up a parking brake to it but when it's running the siren 50 is a regenerative system so anytime that you let like if I'm going like this right if I'm already going, anytime I let off, it automatically reverses the, the power as gen, real gentle and makes a, it's a break, but it puts the power back to the battery. So all that adds up in a day's use. And um, man, if you see one of these little electric quads, I think it was made by BMX, it said on it. Um, probably not the bicycle people, I'm not sure. I've done some research, found some scooters with BMX, but if you see one of these, man, this little thing's a gem. Man, the swing arm, the travel, it's stout as hell. I mean, I'm a big boy and I could sit on it and go, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it now. But, um, man, it's the best 30 bucks. Like I said, I couldn't have bought the chain and sprockets for that. 
I couldn't even have bought the tires for that. So, all right, enough boredom. I'm gonna go ahead and kill it, and we'll do a off-road video here in just a second. I'll split them up. That way, if you were bored enough through this part, <laughs> at least you can click on the off-road one. You don't have to, to worry. It'll go right to it. But anyway, that's my little beach buggy. Ready to go to Florida for the sand test. <laughs>